I just wanted to shed some light on the reality of being a very, 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 very small YouTuber. Hello there, my name is Niamh and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload videos twice a week, every Tuesday and every Friday, so you should really stick around and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you have that little notification bell turned on so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video. So today we are going to be looking at my YouTube analytics and basically seeing does uploading consistently actually work does it help your channel so i am a teeny 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 whiny little youtube channel um i'm not big i'm totally okay with that i just really enjoy doing this but i do like looking at my analytics every now and again just to see what's going on they honestly never really make much sense to me because i am so small things are just so up and down all of the time but i do think i've been uploading pretty consistently the last while so i just want to see does it have an effect negative or positive does it have an effect so let's get to it let me just get the screen recording going am i recording no what is happening oh my god okay i think i'm recording and if not i'm gonna be so oh did i just stop it i just stopped it but I okay i was recording okay let's try this again <laughs> okay here we go finally so i have pulled up my analytics from january so as you can see from the overview, I got had 1.4 thousand views per in the month, 56 watch time hours, gained 13 subscribers, and zero dollars revenue because I am not monetized. So therefore, I don't make money off YouTube. <laughs> but as you can see in the uploads, I uploaded only five times. Now there are normally nine times per month when you can. When I sorry, okay, let me start that again. I upload every Tuesday and Friday, so. Every Tuesday and Friday, every month, I have nine chances to upload, which my brain physically cannot compute because I'm like, there's four weeks and then there's two days a week that I'm filming, so that should be eight, but it's always nine. My, my brain's just struggling to like accept that. But anyway, as you can see, I missed four uploads. And I don't think I was doing the Tuesday and the Friday. Like, I can't tell the dates, but like we went five days, then four, then another five days, then another five days and I went a week and then I did nothing so like I wasn't very consistent I don't think um but even after I didn't where can I get the thing even after so this was the last upload day in January I was still getting a good um, like a good few views for me <laughs> um like to some people might be like that's literally nothing but 38 views 36 down to 18 but with no uploads that's pretty good for me so you know it's okay then in terms of reach the impressions i reached these are the figures for the reach so 20 20.3k impressions and a click through rate of 4.7 which i think is okay i think in general if you have up to like three to five percent of a click through rate it's it's pretty okay um most of my video or most of people were coming from youtube search or suggested video in terms of engagement average view duration was two minutes 21 and I, as I said, I gained 13 subscribers. I lost none that month, which is pretty good, but I always think it's so funny. I rarely ever gain subscribers on the day I upload a video. So as you can see here, this one, I gained two, but then every other day I gained none. It's just, I don't know. I just find that interesting. interesting. But, and as you can see as well, no revenue because I am not monetized. That's what we're looking at for January. Now let's go to March. So March is when I really started, I think February and March, I kind of kicked it up a little bit. And since March, I've been pretty consistent, but we're gonna have a look at March. So already you can see there's a jump. So we had almost 1900 views here, 1400 here. Watch time was 86 hours plus 14 subscribers. So that's one more than I gained that month. But in general, you can see the views are up comparing this graph to this one here you can see the views are they're higher <laughs> also when it comes to actual uploads like there was more you can see i obviously missed one here but it very much went twos twos and two and you know so definitely more consistent there with my uploads this month um in terms of reach the impressions i had more impressions a slightly higher click-through rate um Again, YouTube search. YouTube search is just so important and I'm so bad at my SEO. But anyway, <laughs> YouTube search is what it's mainly coming from. Um, average user duration was 
2 minutes 44 seconds which was up wasn't it from yeah slightly longer view duration rate still not a great one at all two minutes it's not great but anyway and as he said 14 subscribers i did lose one this month so you know <laughs> screw you um and yeah again obviously no revenue but let's go to june as well of this month and videos were 1600 so actually slightly less than march um 1.6k views 71 hours watch time and 10 subscribers i did miss did i miss two uploads in june possibly definitely one here two four six seven i did i missed two uploads in june i only thought i missed one. Oh well but um it's definitely higher than january having a look at the overall here compared to june june was still slightly higher than january we had similar impression rate 4.7 click through rate and again, YouTube search is where everything is coming from. But I did start using a Linktree account. So you can see here that 7.4% um, of people are coming from my Linktree. So I just think that's interesting because it's just something new I started working with and I can actually see that it is bringing in people for me. In terms of engagement, we are actually slightly down. This is slightly higher than January, but slightly less than June and Subscribers again, 10. I lost, oh lads, I lost two this month. Oh my God. I My subscribers are honestly hilarious because it like goes up by one, down by one, up by one, down by two, up by two, down by one, up by one, up by two, down by, like it's just so inconsistent and constantly fluctuating. Like I just honestly think it's hilarious. But so looking from all this, it does seem that uploading more consistently does give me higher figures, higher results from kind of everything over across over the board. Um, but not massively different. I mean, comparing June to January, it wasn't a huge jump. So yeah, I'm uploading more consistently, but I'm also just uploading more. And that is honestly what I think made the jump. I don't think because I was uploading consistently, I don't think that was what made the jump for me. I think it was the fact that I only had five videos in January and I had eight in March, seven in, in June. So the fact that I have more videos obviously is going to lead to slightly higher, more views, but not by an enough amount to say that, oh my God, yes, con uploading consistently does work for me. It is making me grow. Um, I don't think I can fully say that right now, but it is because I am such a small YouTube channel. I am not doing as much as I could be to me making it grow. I'm definitely aware of that, but I do keep hearing that consistency works a lot. So yeah, um, I'm gonna keep uploading consistently. I'm gonna try my best to, and obviously the more uploads I physically have, the more views, of course, I'm going to get. So yeah hope you enjoyed that video i just think it's interesting to have a look to see does uploading consistently actually work um because i am so small right now i'm not seeing the growth and again i'm so completely okay with that but i also just want to show you that like this is the reality of being like way down here <laughs> when you're just starting youtube and you're watching people who are rising and rising you have to start somewhere and you start at the bottom and you stay at the bottom for a very long time from my personal experience anyway but yeah i just wanted to shed some light on the reality of being a very 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 small youtuber i am going to leave the video here i hope you enjoy that video i hope you find it interesting if you have a youtube channel yourself i'd love to hear like what you think do you think uploading consistently works are your analytics just like shocking <laughs> like mine um i would love to hear your thoughts on what you think but thank you very, very, very much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I shall see you when I next see you.